The restaurant's right on the river. They do the most fantastic food. I'm so lucky to get us a booking for Christmas Day. Right. It's got a Michelin star. Anyway, what about afterwards? Um, I don't know. We could fit a walk in. Then unwrapping by an open fire. Now that sounds good. Yeah, help yourself. Thanks. You've butted it. Sorry. Now, are you free on the 30th? Uh, possibly. I've got a couple of tickets for the panto. Aladdin at the rep, I was involved in a production a couple of years ago with the services support agency. It's surprisingly good fun. Sorry. It's really not my thing. However, I've got an invite to the Apsley's drink stew that evening. Do you know them? He's an architect. Oh, look at the time. I've got a ton to do. I'll pencil that in then, yeah? Right. Great. Our Christmas and New Year diary synced. I'm training again in the park later. You should come down. Oh, I'll have to see what works like. Do you good. Fight off the festive flab in advance. See you later. Snow, no snow, can't ever make their minds up. Same every year. You don't need it to have Christmas. Of course you do. Best one's are always white. It's not the weather that makes it. So you'd be happy sitting on a sunny beach eating your turkey and trimmings, would you? <sighs> Didn't think so. Queen's speech and a warm glass of scotch. Can't beat it. <sighs> I'll get the tree later on the way back from the quay. Oh, brandy butter. Get a big tub. We ran out last year. And we want a proper big turkey, whole bird. Just for the two of us? See, it's a little bit cold, won't it? Should have ordered it, like I said. Actually, um, I thought we might try something different this year. What? Goose? No. Australia. Secret Santa, mate. Mm, sexy. So, you're a fully paid up member of the Sad Singletons Club just in time for Christmas, eh? We should do something. You know, instead of sitting home alone moping, together. Where's this leading? Well, the place where all roads lead. The pub. So I know the perfect pub crawl route, and it finishes just opposite the Star of Punjab, which serves the finest chicken tikka masala known to mankind. I'm a bit tied up. Me too, I'm training. Oh, you're pathetic. The both of you. Still, if you can't rise to a challenge... How exactly is going out for a curry and a beer with you a challenge? Oh, fresh meat. So, doctors, are we on or are we on? Come on, Jimmy, please. Oh, oh, OK, OK, but not the curry. I'm not going to knock my training that far, of course. Yeah, good man. Heston, you're in. Right, we leave for the Washbrook Arms after work. No excuses. You know, spread the Christmas cheer. The more, the merrier. The plane tickets really weren't that bad. Plus, they chucked in free travel insurance. They better be returnable. <sighs> Bob, this is our first grandchild. Don't you want to be there to hold the baby? For crying out loud, Mary, John had a choice. Our family or his career, he made his choice, I made mine. But it's the two of us for Christmas. I, I thought... Well, you can think again. He's the one who up sticks and went off to the other side of the world. Couldn't it be lovely? All the family together. A new baby. If John really wants us to be a family again, then he can flip it well, come over here for Christmas, can't he? Sarah's about to give birth, Bob. She wouldn't get on a plane, even if they'd let her. He's told you they want to come back again, has he? He's actually said that? Right, there you go. I'm not chasing after him. I'm not discussing this, Mary. We're going nowhere. I am. What are you talking about? I'll leave your ticket there in case you change your mind. What? Where are you going? I'm going to take my stuff to my sister's. I can book a cab from there. Please, Bob. I really want to go. Fine. Off you go, then. Walk out on our family, too. Go on. You'll be spending Christmas on your own. Perfect!
Well, here's a man with a festive spring in his step. Mm, Santa has good taste. Oh, I thought the glow in your cheek was a love of a good woman, not reflected gold. Yes, well, it's early days. The first buds of love on Christmas Eve? Well, I must say that Jean has been a breath of fresh air, yes. Mm. Not a lot planned. Oh, really? Have you set a date? No, I meant Christmas. Yes, every day is packed. For you. I'm looking forward to a large glass of wine in front of the fire and a week of peace and calm. That is way over budget. Someone has splashed out on you. Yes. I couldn't help noticing that Daniel's present is sitting rather forlornly in the staff room. Don't you think someone should drop it off? That's very kind of you, Heston. Thank you. Well, I wasn't volunteering. Oh, thank you. Do you know, we haven't seen you for ages. It was the last time was our housewoman, wasn't it? That's right. Rob had a jar too many. <laughs> Don't remind me. Hey, you know, your blood pressure is absolutely fine. You're all settled in now, then? Yeah, I mean, I really love the house, but, you know, the neighbours, we haven't had a single invitation since we've been there. Oh, shame. It's not... It's not like it was with you and Mary. Oh, the kids have never forgotten Christmas round yours. It used to make it so special. Oh, the biggest Christmas tree in the street, lovely presents. Do you want me to book you in for your usual, um... Appointment. Um, you know, you should pop round, cos Jack and Amy will be home soon and they'd love to see you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You've probably got loads of plans. Of course you have! Sarah's due soon, isn't she? You're so lucky. And your first grandchild at Christmas. Are you going to try and fly out? You're right. I'm fine. You're not feeling faint or dizzy? We're done. Sorry? I've just got... Lot on, you know. Yeah, well, yes, we're done. Well, hang on, I've got a, I've got a Christmas card for you. Uh, oh, I'm going to drop it round with Mary. Have a catch up. Here we go. Don't say I never do anything for you. Christmas has come early. Conductive gloves for using touch screens in winter. <laughs> I'm glad someone's having a laugh. It wasn't me, I swear. My money's on Jimmy. So, apart from having warmer hands, how are you doing? Well, it's been one hell of a long week, but actually I'm feeling OK. OK's good. Yeah, it is. In fact, I'd say I'm feeling better than I've felt in flipping ages. Why's that? I had the procedure. Good. Apart from achy arms, it was a piece of cake, really. You should be really proud of yourself. Yeah, well, I can't take all the credit, can I? Oh. Karen made them. Ah. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Just like the biggest in the street. Help yourself. Uh, no, it's all right. I'll um, I'll save mine for later. Oh, oh, lovely. Smellies. Oh, last. Oh, they are lovely. Oh, very nice. Oh, somebody put a lot of thought into those. Somebody ignored the budget. Right, well, must dash. <laughs>